A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Srivastava and from Network Nuts and welcome to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So you must be seeing a picture here. So this is uh, me after the workout. So I'm more focused like focusing on the arm, especially the bicep. I genuinely want your feedback and the comments that I think the tricep is working fine but I need to work more on the bicep. Shoulders are coming on right. Th that I think so. But I need I think I need to work more on here, more on this part, on the bicep. The tries are looking fine. Right, so I'm eagerly awaiting for your feedback on the picture. Forget the video. <laughs> Forget the puppet video. Okay, by the way, in this video, I'm going to tell you how to have a centralized file bucket for puppet. Okay, so just uh, leave this picture for a moment and focus on the video. Okay, so I'm just closing this and please I need your feedback so do I need to work more on bicep what I think yes I should be working more on the bicep okay let's close this so here is my setup I've got a green machine and I have got a blue machine so the green machine will be my puppet server and the blue machine is my puppet client so the setup is already being done so that means if I create a file here say etc puppet manifest site.pp this I'm creating a file here a file re a file resource here will will be going under uh, tmp hello.txt and also right here once over overwritten it will go under client those who are not aware should remember this that whenever a puppet server overwrites the file on the client so what it does it it don't discard the original file it save a copy of the original file under var lib puppet client bucket folder let me show it to you so i just add one more line go on client site so i just appended this that's great so i've done some changes here i save and come out from here i go to the client site i just run puppet agent so see here the file is overwritten this line has been added that is represented very clearly by the plus symbol and you see the old file without the line go on the client side without the line go on the client side is stored under the file bucket right so that means that old file has gone under cdd cd var lib puppet client bucket there's a folder there client bucket here it is so there can be a very uh, like large number of folders here like if, if I go under 6 there can be another folder so it, it, can, it can be very difficult to uh, read or find your original file so what I can do I can use the grep command say I need to find some word say over is the word so what I can do because it's very difficult to move inside this I just go under the client bucket and I can use a grep recursive grep right case insensitive and search for the word over like this any file so here it is so this is the location where the files are overwritten on the client side so if I just copy this and show you a cat here this is the file without the line without this line without this line go on the client side so the default behavior is that whenever the puppet master overrides a file or change a file on the client side the client stores the file under the local kind of a trash not trash a bucket so if you have got hundred machines so every machine will be individually storing their files I don't want that so what happens what is happening right now is that let me explain you with a small illust uh, illustration here just a moment I use paint here yeah color you love my drawings so see here so what happens suppose this is your puppet server and I don't like the black color suppose this is your puppet server and these are your clients 
these are the clients the nodes these are the nodes and obviously they are connected to each each other so i'm not concerned about the connectivity issues so if puppet overwrites a file on the client suppose that there is a file there i can write here some local file here some local file controlled by puppet master so if there is a file there which is controlled by the puppet master and the puppet master overwrites that file overwrites that file means it changes the configuration on the server from the server to the client so the the file which is here will be stored locally under the folder i just given you the path where lib puppet client bucket so means every machine will have its own individual where lib puppet client bucket folder where lib puppet client bucket folder so it can be very difficult for the admin to manage the files or to see the files those are overwritten by the puppet master so in what i want is that instead of locally storing the overwritten file which is it is doing by default i want that if some file is overwritten on the client side by the master if some file is over like overwritten here so the original file instead of storing it under where lib puppet client bucket the original file should move to the master so that the admin will have a centralized location from where he can see all the overwritten files so means i want a centralized bucket not the local buckets right i don't want local buckets i want a centralized bucket here so how to do this so that need i need to configure something on the puppet master okay i'm going back to the a demonstration right so what i need to do you can configure this by using a resource type file bucket inside your etc puppet manifest site dot pp file so what i do here i open my etc puppet site dot pp file and at the top here i create a file bucket resource sorry it's a special resource type file bucket name can be anything i give central because uh, all the files those are overwritten are going on the puppet master central name can be anything path is false need not to give it right because it is required for the re uh, remote bucket so i can just write here required for remote bucket and then i give server means which server on which centralized location so generally the server will automatically take the host name of your puppet master but you can explicitly define it also no issues i can write it here also it is optional actually as it is as by default it is the i can write here fqdn of the puppet master So just write these two lines here okay forget to put it in quotes sorry right here like this now for any file like suppose i want this file now i have got two files say there is another file here i create another an say another file hi and i say ensure file path can be say anything hi.txt right and i say content i write here say if overwritten it will go to puppet master the original if over overwritten the original copy will go to puppet master right so merely writing will not do the things i just need to write backup and then the name of the bucket central is that clear so that is you need to do so what will happen because i had specified the backup attribute for this file 
So if this file hello is overwritten, it will be stored locally on the client bucket. But if file hi is overwritten, the original copy should be available on the Puppet server side. Let us check it out. So I save and come out from here. I go to the client side. I run the Puppet agent command. Oh, there's an issue here. Let me check. No problem. There must be some syntax error. No, no problem. So it says in the site.pp, see here, line number three, right? Syntax error. Just a moment. Okay, I think the comma is missing here. I can write it in quotes also like this save and come out let me try it again perfect so the file hi is being created right now I will overwrite the file so I'll just show you the hi file is there right if overwritten the original should go to the puppet master so what I do I will intentionally go here and we'll add a line here because the backup is central central means it will be going to the server okay i'll just remove these spaces here so that it will be easier for you to see so i just add a line here it should go to server right so i had modified the file so means when i will run the agent command once again the original will be overwritten yeah can you see this message file bucketed to central that means this file is not available locally on this uh, same machine under var lib puppet client bucket it's it is not available here it is not available here it is available on the master so it is available under var lib puppet and there is a folder there bucket see the current timestamp is coming up so i can use the grab command again to see it so i can uh, search for the word original so if i check here i can use grep sorry recursive o r i r i g i n l anything Uh oh let me check what is the word here okay my spelling is wrong o r g i n a l i i have to use o r g i n a l i done a spelling error there here it is look this is the content so the file is not locally available the file is available on the master so the now being admin i have got a centralized location where i can see all the files from each and every node, those are overwritten by the puppet master. So you have a centralized bucket, but there is still a problem. I'm not happy. The problem is that if I do, I need, if I've got hundred files, if I've got hundred files, because the hello is not going on the central bucket, it is still uh, overwritten locally means saved. The original copy will be saved locally. So if I have got hundred files, am I supposed to write this line again and again, backup central backup central for all the files? It can be a real pain in the neck or any other part of the body. Ah, I cannot say I cannot comment on that. So instead of writing backup central backup central for every file resource, you can make it much more easier i'm just commenting it out or i can remove it also you can create a default resource type defined so here just create a file with capital f right file with capital f and here i say just write backup central so when the file the default resource type is defined here backup central that means now whether you define it or not means if even if i remove these backup line any file which is over overwritten this attribute will be applied to all the file resources as i had defined with capital f if you remember the capital p with the for the path 
when we use the exec resources so when you define it with a capital F and just define the backup central that means this will automatically get inherited on all the file resources so if any file every file which is overridden the backup will be stored on central so central by default means on this server rather than on the local machine so if I just add one more line here just to show it to you all right uh, this is because Sorry, again spelling error of central or file, right? And I write this the same line here again. This is because of file. So that means both the files I hadn't specified separately in the file resources. I had just defined once for all. So if I just save it and come out from here, and I will run the puppet agent here the both the files should be oh, be uh, the original copy should be given onto the green machine rather than storing it on the client bucket perfect see here both the files are being bucketed to central so that means uh, admin need not to go to each and every node and check the original contents he will merely simply go to var lib puppet bucket folder and can search for the files so both the files should be available here so one file has got the content of uh, client let me see or overwritten i okay i will use the search for the word written here so this file should be available here so i ag again use the grab because otherwise it will be very difficult for me to search for the file as they are deep inside the hierarchy on this folder that's great see here this is the file overwritten this is the file and this is the next copy the uh, the the other file other file has got the word overwritten so overwritten is also coming up here and written is also coming up here so means both the files which are actually uh, modified on the node on the blue machine but the original file the actual copy that was being overwritten was being sent back to the master the green machine so it will be easier for an admin to manage and see what were the original contents so this is actually a very important configuration whenever you are learning your uh, puppet enterprise or uh, puppet configuration management tool to how to have a centralized bucket so I hope you like the small video and thank you very much and again don't forget don't forget i actually want oh i not this picture sorry this is i don't like i think i'd close it i j actually need the feedback on that biceps and tricep thing right so thank you once again for watching this video thank you once again god bless take care see you again soon i'm stopping the video now